In this video, we're going to look at exponential equations. So remember, when we see the word equations, that should make us think of equal signs. You can see the word equal hiding there anyways. So we're trying to make this side equal this side. Okay. So the way that this works is this 32 can still be broken down because, for example, 32 is the same as 16 times 2. And 16, 16 is the same as... 4 times 4, and then I'm just going to add this 2 over here, and then 4 is the same as 2 times 2, and then I'm going to do this one, which is another 2 times 2, and then I'm going to just add this one, and that's the same as 2 to the power of 5. So we break the 32 down, 32 down into its prime factors, and remember the Casio calculator does that using the shift fact method, which we looked at in previous videos. So 32 is the same as 2 to the power of 5. Now have a look here guys, you're trying to make this side equal to that side. Well, the 2's are already the same, so let's ignore them. They are already the same, so all that needs to happen is we want the top part to be the same. So we want x to be equal to 5. And that's it. Let's try another one. So let's go. So this 2, we're not going to do anything with that because it can't really be broken down any further. 2 is already a prime number, but this 8 can be written as 2 to the power of 3. So now here we go. This side, well, the 2 is already the same as that 2. So let's ignore that and let's just try and make these parts equal to each other. So we just make them equal to each other like that. And then you solve for x and you end up with x is equal to 4. And so let's have a go at these three questions. They'll be very quick. So the first one says 5 to the power of 2x is equal to 25. Well, this 5 is already a prime number, but this 25 on the right can be written as 5 to the power of 2. Now have a look here. These 5s are the same. And so we can ignore that part because remember, we're trying to make the left side equal to the right side. So now we just make these two equal to each other. And so if you divide by 2, you'll end up with x equals 1. Moving on to the next one. So here you have options. The 9 is not a prime number yet, and the 81 is also not a prime number. So you could drop them all the way down to their prime numbers, which would mean that three is the, I mean 9 is the same as 3 to the power of 2, and 81 is 3 to the power of 4. You would then multiply these and give you 3 to the power of 2x equals 3 to the power of 4. Then these are the same, and so then you end up with 2x must be equal to 4, so then x would be equal to 2. The other option is that we know that 81 is the same as 9 to the power of 2, and then the 9's are the same, so we can ignore those, and then we end up with x equals to 2. So maths is really awesome. There's, there's usually more than one way of doing them, and you'll still get to the same answer. And now with this last one, there's also going to be more than one option. So mathematically, if these two bases are the same, Remember, we're not going to make that a 4 because there's exponents involved. But what can you do with those if, if, if the bases are the same? For example, what is a2 times by a3? Well, that's a5. So you add the exponents. And so you could turn that into 2 to the power of 1 plus x. And then 32, you could drop it to its prime numbers, which is 2 to the power of 5. Then you could see that these are now the same, so you can ignore them. And you could just say 1 plus x must equal 5. You would then solve for x, and you would end up with 4. The other way to do it would be to realize that this 2 is free to move to the other side because it doesn't have an exponent. So you could divide by 2 on the other side and so you'd end up with 32 divided by 2. Now 32 divided by 2 is 16 and 16 is the same as 2 to the power of 4. Now you could see that these two are the same so you can ignore those and go straight to the point that x is equal to 4.